Alcoholism has definitely undergone a rebranding in terms of how it's manifested physically. So gone are the days whereby you know the alcoholic or ulam to alikuwa mlevi was seen as you know that man in that stereo okay the stereotypical look of what it may have been perceived as in the past whereby it's seen as that man in the village or even in urban in an urban area in an urban setting you know walking around with soiled tattered dirty clothes you know akitembea kingia kwa mtaro whereas nowadays alcoholism is a lot more hidden it's not as easily detectable to the eye it's not as obvious and i go to school and i asked this girl Connie, what is it you gave me because i didn't get drunk then she said and i knew it had not been tampered with because yes. it was sealed properly yes. yeah then she told me then carol you have a problem that statement was to follow me for the next 19 years i am noticing another thing that started happening to me i was the most excited to drink among my friends if there was a plan to go out Let's say we plan to drink in two weeks' time. <laughs> I was the most excited. When do you kupanga? I was the ringleader. I was the one thinking about the bottles. I was the one happy. I was thinking about the outfits, the boys, the clubs are going to go to. I was the one thinking about the Malibu, the Sprite, all the concoctions we're going to make. So in today's society, especially in the party setting, you often hear the word the life of the party. Eh? You know that person when they walk into a room, they have this magnetic energy. They have a way that they can pull people towards them and just make everyone feel seen. But in addition to that, there also happen to be the people who tend to drink the most out of everyone. You know, pouring shots, pouring drinks. Now the thing with that is... The life of the party is not the actual term that should be used and unfortunately in some cases these people are you'd rather describe them as the functional alcoholics so they tend to be a bit more difficult to detect or they're typically not punk categorized as al real alcoholics because at this point in time they are still able to keep up with their responsibilities in their lives you know their appearance their finances social life etc 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 now the issue is a functional alcoholic is still an alcoholic and this is often the beginning phase before they tip unfortunately for some they end up having a tipping point where it tends to gravitate towards actual alcoholism So music is by far one of the most influential tools when it comes to society. It can influence how you think, how you talk, how you walk, your actions. Basically, all of you, then holistically, it can change your perceptions about things. And that's, and quoting Joseph Odingo, he states that, Music is one of the most inspirational forms of fine arts. In its rhythm, melody, harmony, and dynamics, its variety of sounds and shades, music transmits a never-ending gamut of feelings and sensations. Its power is contained in its ability to bypass reason, penetrating straight into the soul, into the subconscious, and to manipulate a person's feelings. Now, I want us to take into consideration the part where he says its power is contained in its ability to bypass reason, penetrating straight into the soul, into the subconscious, and to manipulate a person's feelings. If you look at a lot of the songs that are commonly played within clubs, within settings whereby Sherehe is the norm, it's often music that tells you to engage in drunkenness, to engage in very um, 
various activities that the songs speak of. So if we talk about, so let's say one of the most, one of the most obvious songs that I've ever heard that tells you to drink, drink my friend. <laughs> so let's listen to it. for one her, is not short of a lot of party songs i don't even have to struggle to find them and so if we dissect and if you look at the messages that these people are telling you so basically they're telling you drink drink <laughs> you know there's no tomorrow and you know some people will say oh you know it's i like i like the beats i like a b c d about it and it's true to a certain extent some people you sing a song but consciously you don't really um, analyze what you're singing or you listen to things which consciously you're not aware but subconsciously you're still in taking the message of the music and so you provide the alcohol for people to drink because you open bars you open you make it accessible for people to consume and then on the other hand, you put it in message form or in music form, one of the most easily digestible ways that human beings um, absorb information. So you preach a message of alcoholism, alcoholism through the music, and then you provide the alcohol for the people. And in turn, that's how you create an alcoholic or a generation that has an issue with alcoholism that's how alcoholism basically starts through the music and through the accessibility if in the next short while nothing is done in regards to alcoholism yeah. and substance use yes. in this country we are a dying nation we are a dying nation. How bad are in we? this town alone, in Nairobi alone, there are 12,000 pubs. Not wines and spirits. Nairobi alone, 12,000 bars. Wines and spirits are here and there. They are popping up like popcorn. Today you sleep. Right next to your house, you sleep. When you went home, there was nothing. You wake up in the morning, a wines and spirits. there's a wines and spirits. You will find a wines and spirits directly opposite a church. Okay? Nothing is being done. We are a drinking nation. We used to laugh about it. Now it's for real. We are truly a drinking nation. So what do you think about the Shereha culture? Is it something that should be entirely stopped? Do you think it's something that is not a big deal to society and that this is not really an important, it's not an important conversation to have? So feel free to voice your opinions down in the comment section. Of course, being respectful of other people's opinions as they voice theirs. And with that, I will see you in my next video.